to do some spring cleaning with you and for you and hopefully motivate you to get started on that. It is March, which does mean spring cleaning time. And so where to even begin? Sometimes I am not sure where I should begin with spring cleaning. So I'm going to take you through several days of what I am doing to spring clean for this 2022 spring season. It was super sunny and warm the last couple days and now it's cold and we're gonna get some snow. But so it is, but we're gonna do some spring cleaning. So first place to start is up high. Always bring that dust down low. Um, start up high, let it all fall so that later you can get the rest of it later. So we're just gonna do some dusting of like the edges. Some of these things I do more on a regular basis than just springtime because it needs it more than once a year. But we're gonna do some of that today. So let's get spring cleaning. snack time and coffee time. So we got the ceiling and the higher walls cleaned. Then we moved to just the clock in the living room area, just getting some of those higher furniture pieces cleaned and the end curtains. So curtains are a big thing for me to clean because I really don't wash those very often and you don't see the dirt in those as often either. So getting those clean and then wiping down the curtain rods, wiping down the ceiling fans and the light fixtures too. That's important to do in the top of your list as well. So that is all done. We're taking a little break and then we will get back to cleaning a little bit here today. you could see was our blinds and now it is the window still it is chilly out so I don't want that's outside isn't it I don't want it open too long but get this wiped up this always gets bad because if you don't know we live by a dusty road so very dirty dusty road and this year has been so dry so I'll have to probably use a vacuum for some of that but doesn't that look so much better already just a quick wipe there you go, nasty dirty, but so it goes. And if you live on a farm, you know how this goes too. All right, let's get cleaning the windowsills.
progress. I now did the window sills and I did all the window sills in our house already. So we live in a 950 square foot home if you didn't know that. So it does make spring cleaning a little bit easier. If you have a larger house, you may have to break it up into the whole month of March or um, just day by day what you can get done. So we're gonna take a break here. We did quite a bit of cleaning this morning, but when you have little ones, you have to spend some time with them too. So just get done what you can in a day and then move on to the next day with your other projects because the projects will always be there. Your children will not. wipe down the walls. Dust just collects on walls and so it's a good thing to just go through with a damp cloth and I'm just gonna use um, a microfiber cloth. I got a pack like 22 from Walmart a couple years ago. So I'm gonna do that and then um, I would vacuum the furniture off but my girls are napping so I don't want to be too loud and I'll just dump some baking soda on those and get that clean. And then next after that I'm hoping to get like the cracks of my kitchen table cleaned out. Um, food falls in that seam where you know you can add more leaves on your table if you have that. So I am planning to hopefully get all of this done during my girls' nap time. It is the second day. We got a little bit later start, and so we're going to clean the furniture. I gotta put some baking soda on it and sprinkle that on there and vacuum in the cracks. I do that almost weekly though, so it's not too bad. And then I'm gonna wipe down the baseboards. And then the next step, I think, is to start in the kitchen. I clean behind the stove and the fridge a couple times a year, but it doesn't hurt to take a look at it again to see what treasures will be found. So let's do a little bit of cleaning here again today. Enjoying my coffee, having my girls around me, and we're gonna get started.
moved out slightly. There's just a little dust there. It'll be good to dust that off. Um, clean back here. It's not too bad. Vacuum off the front vent and the back vent. We do not have a cover like most fridges do right here. It's exposed right now, so I actually clean that a lot. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of cleaning Let's out see. from the fridge area. and furniture I washed all the blankets and washed the pillow covers and got those all cleaned and refreshed as well because it's just nice to do especially when we've had sicknesses a lot of February in our house so um, it is the girls' nap time both are still awake in their rooms but I'm going to attempt to clean the stove so I'm going to show you it's not too bad actually because I do maintain that um, let me show you what it looks like right now and then hopefully get some after. So I just vacuumed out from behind it, oh, two months ago. So I'm not going to worry about that, but I'm just going to clean the inside of it. Okay, so here it's just a little bit scummy here. And then these baking mats are lifesavers because the bottom of my stove is really clean still. And then just to clean some of the edges here. And that's about all I'll have to do. So it won't be too bad. So I'm going to get started on that and see what my girls allow me to do. stove is clean you saw the before and after it is so nice to open it and have a sparkling clean oven and same with all these other things that you can start with when cleaning whether it's wiping the dust off your walls cleaning from behind your fridge some of these unseen things it just gives you that satisfaction when you can get it done so these are just some areas that I have cleaned over the past couple days that can give you a good start. And if this is all you can get done, that is a wonderful thing too because just getting some spring cleaning under your belt is such a satisfying thing and a great way to take care of your home and bless your family. So let me know in the comments if you started spring cleaning or not and hope you are motivated to do such as well. All right, love you guys. <laughs>